a key part of working with the sheet set is the sheet set manager. So if, to turn it on, notice I've just gone to the view tab and what we find here is in our palettes panel, there's a toggle to turn that off and on. If you prefer, you can actually type sheet set command line to launch this as well. Now I've got a sheet set open, but one of the key things for working with the sheet set is this drop down. And notice from the drop down, I can actually flip between or flip to recently used projects. So I can simply just come over here, just click on it. And what it does is it closes, um, basically deactivates the other project. Although notice that it's still available in the drop down. So you can have multiple sheet sets kind of on the go at the same time. To close one of these sheet sets, what you do is you right click on it and from the drop down, you can actually close. So it's a little bit hidden there, but you can right click on it and you can close it. You can also do the same thing from Vault. If you're using Vault to manage your sheet sets, you can actually do an, uh, an open from there. Now the drop down is also where you go to open existing. So you could browse and navigate for one, or you can create a new sheet set. Now another option for closing the sheet set is notice the right click menu. So right at the very top there, I'm just right clicking. I'm on the sheet set itself. So I'm able to actually close the sheet set. I'm able to add new sheets and add new subsets from here. I'm able to import um, existing layouts into the sheet. Notice the option to resave all. So if you've got a bunch of drawings open and you just want to quickly go through there and save them all, you can do a resave right from there. And then we've got our options to publish and e-transmit from here as well. Now what I want to do is I want to add a new sheet. So if I was to right click on here and I was to pick new sheet, it's going to add it to the top level. So I'll end up right with this title sheet. Whereas if I was to right click on this subset and pick new sheet, it's going to add it to this architectural. So notice when I click new sheet, what I see here is that right now is I can put a name. So let's just put this as AM. Notice the file name that it's building. And I'm going to say that this is the um, to be demolished. And you can see that it's building up the file name based on the title and the number. Now, no one's forcing me to use that file name. So I could come over here and I could change this and I can just get rid of the AM and just say, you know, this is going to be to be demolished. We can see the folder path where it's going to create that and the template. And notice that I get no options, no options to, um, you know, change the template. I've got no option to change the folder path that this is being added to. So we can just see the location where that's being added. Now, I'm not going to open this in the drawing editor at the moment, but I'm going to click OK. And remember that because I use this subset to add the sheet, we can see it's added it to that sheet. And I can just drag and drop this wherever I want that to be. Now, if we bring up Windows Explorer and we just navigate to where that's been added, we can see that there is a to be demolished in that architectural folder. Now, if I go to the subset itself and I go into the properties, what I can see in the properties is that the subset name's architectural, the new sheet location, we can see where it's being specified, and I can see the sheet creation template, and it's not prompting for a template. So I'm gonna change this from no to yes, and now notice, well, we might as well apply the changes. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on here, and I'm gonna add a new sheet, and now notice that it's now prompting me for the template. So the idea is that instead of you know forcing a, a template for that subset, I can actually um, pick the template that I want to use. So that's a subset option. Okay, what I'd like to do is I'd like to add a subset to this subset. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to create a new subset. Notice that it's the exact same dialog box. So I'm actually going to call this electrical. I am going to create a folder hierarchy in this case because I do want this to be a separate subfolder to store these. I am going to include the sheets. It's going to set the location for me because it's got to stick within the sheet set. We can see right now that here's the um, kind of the default template. Not that it matters because the prompt for template is, is set to yes. So I'm actually going to say no. And now what I can do is I can set the template that I wanted to use. So I'm actually going to use this IRD one. I'm going to use the saved template name as my default template. So again, this is all on a per subset basis. So now if I was to add a new sheet and let's just call this E1 and we'll call it, the, we'll just call it the base right now. And I'm gonna click okay. 
And if we go back to Windows Explorer, notice now that it's created the new subfolder, and in that subfolder is that new drawing. Okay, well let's return back to the Sheet Set Manager and let's take our drawing and let's do a right click and let's do a rename and renumber because maybe this really was supposed to be E01 and this was supposed to be the base electrical package is what the, supposed to be the name is. Now right now I'm changing the number and the sheet title and notice that the file name has not changed so it would, it would keep the same name but maybe I want this to, to match so I'm actually going to put a zero in there and we'll just take the name here and we'll just paste that in there. So now I'm going to rename the layout to match so this layout name is going to change and I'm going to rename the sheet title as well. So notice that by clicking this it actually forces the name to match the sheet title and I want to prefix it. So do you want to force it into using those properties or do you want to name it yourself? So I'm going, to, I'm going to enable that since I just undid it and overwrote what I just had typed in there. Okay, so I'm going to click OK. And notice that the name has changed here. And if I go back into Windows Explorer, notice that the name of the drawing as well. So if this drawing had been open, it would have said, hey, you got to close this before you're able to do anything. Well, what's going to happen if I do the same thing on the sub the subset. So if I was to right click on the subset and pick rename and maybe what we want is we want this to be our electrical details so I'm actually going to change that subset name and I'm going to click OK. So I rename the label there and when I go back into um, the folder structure notice that the subfolder name has not changed. So a little bit different there between the drawings and the folders. Um, you can rename the label but that does not in turn rename the folders within there. Okay, now I'm going to take this to be demolished sheet and I'm going to drag it and drop it and move it into this electrical details. So now if I go back into my Windows Explorer, look at the electrical, again, notice that it hasn't changed because that was a drag and a drop, that wasn't a new. What I want to do is I'd actually want to, um, you know, manually move that. So let's actually see what happens if I do that. Let's take this, let's move it back out and maybe what I'd like to do is I'd like to change its location. So I'm going to take this to be demolished, I'm going to cut it, and I'm going to paste it. So I physically move the drawing. So now if I do a um, refresh in here, notice that we got a, a small problem here. Notice that it can't find this drawing. So I'm going to go into the properties for it, and I'm actually going to change where that is located. I'm going to click on the browse button and it's basically telling me here that it can't find it so I'm actually going to browse to that location of where it went. I'm now going to click OK and that's resolved the link so now I'm just going to drag and drop it into the new location. So you can see that it is possible to basically repoint the link to where the drawing has been moved. Um, but obviously whenever possible it's better to, to keep things kind of where you created them. Okay, so we've looked at how we can create new sheet sets. We've looked at how we can add new sheets. There's also a way to kind of work with these. So if I was to pick, let's say this one, I'm going to pick these top three and these electrical drawings. I can go to the drop down here and I can actually create a new selection. So I just went to the little drop down here. I'm going to say, you know, my base and I'm going to click OK. So now what we're going to see is that at any point in time, I can go to that same drop down. I can click my base and notice those, those ones are selected. What's great about this is it gives me a great way to reselect the objects. So I can go out there and I can publish them. Um, or export them or I can publish them. And we're going to talk about these options in a, in a future um, video. So again we've got a refresh that we can refresh everything. Remember that there's always the option to resave all sheets right from your right click menu. And remember that your right click menu will kind of change depending on what you're right clicking on. So here I'm right clicking on a subset. So I'm seeing tools for working with the subset. And if I pick a view, sorry a sheet and I right click on it, again notice I'm getting options to work with that. Okay, well one last option here is that perhaps I'd like to have a list of all the sheets for this project. So I can right click on here 
And right at the top here is I can actually insert um, the sheet list table. So I'd like to insert that. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to insert my sheet list table. It's going to have the styles that are that are available for the act of drawing. I'm going to bring in this information because that's the style it's using. And let's just pick this. Let's just pick a spot over here. And we can see that it's brought that information in there. Now, look what would happen if I would remove one of these? So I'm going to right click on here and I'm going to remove that sheet. And it says, are you sure? So we're going to remove that drawing so that information is updated. And I'm going to take my table here and I'm going to right click. Now, this is because I've, I've got this open right now. Obviously, if this was closed and I was reopening, it'd be a little bit different. But I'm going to update the table links and notice that that drawing has been removed. So you can easily create this, this table to list all the sheets in there and it will update as you make changes to your sheet set. So again, get a real quick review. The Sheet Set Manager is um, the main tool for working with sheet sets. It is a palette, so it can be resized and auto hit and, and anchored, and you can position it where you want. You can also quickly turn it off and on, so when you need it or don't need it, you can make that pop up and pop down. Don't forget about the drop down at the top. This is where you close projects, you open your, your sheet set projects. Um, you can also work from the list and open from Vault. The sheet list is where you go to create your subsets, you, you create your sheets, but also access the properties. So you access the properties of your sheet set. You access the properties of your subset. You also access the properties of your sheet. So here I can see kind of additional information. I, earlier I had just gone through with the rename and renumber, but I see additional information here where I can actually specify a description, a revision number, a revision date. And this information will all be utilized or can be utilized by the sheet. And we'll look at how you can integrate that with attributes and blocks and fields in a, in a later video. So the important thing to remember is that for all things sheet sets, you're using the sheet set manager.